turn to my room this is what you see I live in a single room in my residence hall I have my light set up for so I can light up the main purpose of my room but yeah over here you have my sink hi over here you have my sink I'm really super thankful to have a sink because I know a lot of people have a sink in their room and it's super convenient and nice because it's just a sink and just where I do my, my nightly routine, my morning routine. And yeah, it's a sink. It's kind of self-explanatory. So when you first enter into the main area of my room, I have my bed, which is up against the window because I like natural lighting and it really helps when I'm doing my homework or just on my computer, which you see on my bed. I have it on my bed because this is where I do all my homework and stuff. But I just, I just like sunlight and just makes me happy, the brightness it has and the brightness it creates in my room more than the harsh yellow light which is what my room originally has if I turn it on. But this is my bed. Um, I got the comforter at Marshalls. Um, what you're going to notice in this video is I got a lot of my stuff from Marshalls and Hobby Lobby so if I don't mention where I got it is from Marshalls or Target or Hobby Lobby so yeah but this is my bed. I went with the gray scheme of themes. Well, not scheme, but like the theme. So the theme of my room is gonna be like gray with like a few accents, which you may see is pink, dark gray, <laughs> and white. So I got my pillows from Marshalls and Target. This rug looking thing, I don't really know what the name of it is, so I'm super sorry for not knowing the name. I got it at Five Below. The marble contact paper, which actually really wasn't that hard to put up, but what I do recommend, what I recommend if you're going to do a marble contact paper wall is having a ruler at hand or a credit card or a card of some sort so you can like smooth out the bubbles. So if you see here, I have a few bubbles on this wall, but hey, it's marble. Marble's not really supposed to be crisp and neat. But I got the marble contact paper at Lowe's. You can also get it on Amazon for about $10 or $8, I think. At Lowe's, it was about $7, but you can also get it at Target, no, not Target, but Walmart for $7 as well. It's the same contact paper. On this side of the wall, I have my tapestry, which I got at Society6. Um, Society6 is a website where artists can upload their art and Society6. Puts it on different objects like pillowcases, mugs, wall art, wall pieces, bed, bed comforters, and just really cool items. So I have that. Then I have, there's my light. Then I have just a few of my purses and my book bag that I hung up against this wall to make it look more aesthetically pleasing. But I feel like I need to add more stuff to it because it's kind of blank compared to my other wall, which you're about to see. Now when we get to the other side of my room, you'll see I will have a gallery wall. 
which my gallery wall I'm pretty proud of. I didn't really plan it out the way it looks, but hey, randomness is the most beautiful thing in the world. <laughs> but here I have my gallery wall. Like I said, I didn't really plan it out like this, but this is just how it turned out. Um, I got a poster over here from a poster sale that my school was having. The magazine covers was actually a poster, which I also got at the poster sale at my college. Um, well, university, because I go to university, but it doesn't really matter. Um, <laughs> over here you also see these paintings, which I got at Hobby Lobby or Marshalls. Inside my gallery wall, you see this table right over here. The table my parents got at a yard sale, and then I just stole it from the house. And I was like, okay, this is going into my dorm because it's white and it matches my gray aesthetic with a pop of pink from the middle of nowhere. But yeah, the C shaped lamp is actually something my mom gave me on my 18th birthday because she knew how extra I was minimalistic but extra but she knew how extra I was and actually got it for me because it's like hey I got you something for your dorm room and here it is so once you turn from my gallery wall you see my desk slash vanity so over here I have my purse which is what I use when I go to classes because thankfully all my books and notebooks and with the time I have in between classes I'm able to put it all in this purse and just carry it to class, which I'm super thankful for. But this purse is a Stephen Madden purse I got at Marshalls. If you can't tell, I live at Marshalls. <laughs> but over here, for my desk organization, I have actually a shoot organizer that I got on Amazon. And the idea for using it for my desk actually came from the reviews. Um, the people, um, the people on the reviews actually used this shoe organizer also as a desk organizer so I was like hey that seems like a good idea so why not use it so on top you see I have a few little knickknacks the plant I got at Marshall's the diffuser I got at my family owned pharmacy wasn't that a drugstore hey shout out <laughs> the little rock I got from Marshall's as well and then the rock with the Bible verse, I got it from a dear friend at my church. And the speaker I got from my lovely, beautiful co-worker who I love very dearly, like very, very dearly. So she gave me the speaker, I use it a lot because music, okay, duh. Um, <laughs> next I have just a, my laptop which I use for editing reasons, my Bible and my main notebook. And under that I have my makeup organization. It's a bit of a mess right now, so I'm sorry about that. And then right over here, I have my vanity, which is actually just a mirror and some DIY vanity lights I got on Amazon. So if you ever want to like make a vanity of your own, just get these sort of lights on Amazon. Just stick it on a mirror and hey, you have a vanity for like less than $20. Right over here, I have my brushes that I use, but also in this like brush container from Morphe, I have like lip liners, eyeliners, and such and whatnot, makeup little things. So over here, I have my daily hour organization because it's good to just keep up and be organized for the day and just stay planned. And then lastly, I have this marble desk, which is marble contact paper that I also used on my wall. Eee. Wow. Yay. That's, that was beautiful. <laughs> but yeah, I also got this at Lowe's, the contact paper, and just put it on my desk. Well, it was originally on my desk before it was on my wall, because that's what I was mainly going to use the marble contact before, but yeah. 